I'm going to reveal this hundred grand of product behind me, who magic investing is for, and how to do magic investing. You're not going to want to miss this. I bought out a collection of $100,000 in sealed magic product that I have behind me. It's the largest collection buyout that I've done, and the most notable purchase since I bought out Drew's collection and channel and moved Drew MTG to Manitou MTG. There's too many rows to show on camera, so let's talk about who magic investing is for and how magic investing is done. And with each topic, I'll remove a row from behind me to show you part of the collection buy. magic investing is for. It's all about the opportunity cost. I don't expect magic returns to outpace the stock market at about 10% per year. But stock market volatility is highly volatile. It can easily be up 30% one year and down 30% the next. And volatility isn't very healthy for your portfolio within about the 15 years leading up to retirement or when starting retirement for about 15 years. These are the periods where you run into retirement date risk, where volatility could delay your retirement date or sequence of returns risk where volatility could cause you to have to change your spending plan in retirement. If you're not within 15 years of either side of your retirement date, unless you're getting a great deal on the magic investment, magic investing isn't for you. You should go out and buy a low cost total stock market index fund and ride that wave until you're within 15 years of retirement. Now I do expect magic investing to beat bonds, which pay about 5% per year. Magic investing might make let's say 7% per year, but be riskier than bonds, but have less risk than stocks. I treat magic investing like a small piece of my bond allocation. Now I hear people saying, Jeremy, how can you expect magic investing to be less risky than stocks? I mean, magic investing is down 30 to 40% since the highs of 2021 and 2022. Well, you need to buy at prices low enough to limit your downside risk. That leads us to how magic investing works. And let me take down another row of the boxes behind me and we'll get into that. offers anywhere from 50 to 80 percent of recent sold product value is because he's limiting his downside risk. Offer too high and bonds would have turned out to be a better investment. Offer too low and you'll get next to no deals done. Which brings us to how to judge your offer. On average, vintage boxes take about five years to sell at retail prices, so prices similar to Card Kingdom. Sure, you can price your boxes a little bit lower than retail value to get them to sell a bit quicker, but now you're eating into your margin. Over those five years, bonds could pay you 25%. So you'll need to get at least a 25% discount on retail to accommodate that. But it'll also take you a lot of work to list, sell, promote, and ship all those boxes. It might also come with, say, a 10 to 20% seller fee, depending on which platform you sell your boxes at. So you're already needing a 35 to 45% discount just to beat bonds. Now, box prices can be expected to rise with inflation, and the long-term inflation target by the Fed is roughly 2%. So let's say your box prices rise 10% over those five years based upon that long-term average. That means you'll need at least a 25 to 35% discount just to beat bonds. But bonds require no work and have less risk. And that's where personal risk reward preferences play in. You'll have some personal premium you wanna take on top of that for taking on the additional risk of investing in magic. I do think magic investing is for anyone that has a passion for it and can take up to say 10% of their total portfolio allocation to put it into it. But it's not easy finding opportunities that have a low enough downside risk and high enough upside to be worth taking over bonds. If you want more information on magic investing or collecting investing in general, I highly recommend checking out the YouTube channel, Reserved Investments. Thanks again and don't forget to like and subscribe for more vintage MTG purchases and information.